the meantime, a Fox News alert. The nuclear deal with Iran may be against American law, believe it or not. A provision in that agreement negotiated among the Obama administration and five other world powers allows foreign offices of U.S. companies to do business with Iran. But now some officials say, hey, this violates a law signed by the president. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen broke this story yesterday. He's all over it. James, what's the evidence for this? Greg, good morning. One of the key sanctions relief concessions that the U.S. made to Iran was to reopen the so-called foreign sub loophole. Tucked away in an annex to the nuclear deal is a passage that provides that if Iran meets its commitments, the U.S. will begin licensing the foreign subsidiaries of U.S. parent firms to do business in Tehran. The problem for the Obama administration is that President Obama himself signed into law a measure passed by Congress in 2012 called the Iran Threat Reduction Act. Mr. Obama signed that law on the same day he welcomed these guests to iftar dinner at the White House. The 2012 law explicitly closed the foreign sub loophole and directed the president to keep it closed until he certifies to Congress that Iran has been removed from the State Department's list of nations that sponsor terrorism. Congress expressly provided for the use of this licensing authority with respect uh, to the Threat Reduction Act, Section 218 that you cited. Um, and I'm going to refer you to the Treasury Department for more details of this specific provision. The Treasury Department, in turn, cites a 1977 law as giving the president this authority, but the 2012 law that Mr. Obama signed directs him to use his authorities from the 1977 law only to, quote, carry out the closure of the foreign sub loophole, not to overturn it, Greg. So this is attracting, and I know this is stunning, James, attention from Republicans who want to occupy the Oval Office. Yes, Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, the GOP presidential candidate, is like President Obama, a Harvard-trained lawyer. And in an interview with Fox News for this story, Cruz warned U.S. foreign subsidiaries to think twice about using any such licenses. Any U.S. company that follows through on this, that allows their foreign-owned subsidiaries to do business with Iran, will f very likely face substantial civil liability, litigation, and potentially even criminal prosecution. The, 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 the obligation to follow federal law doesn't go away simply because we have a lawless president who refuses to, to acknowledge or follow federal law. State is pushing back hard on the story this morning, saying it misreads the law, while still other sources are now referring me to still other sections of the Iran nuclear deal that they say violate existing federal statutes. Greg. Oh, amazing story, uh, James, who broke the story. James, thanks. Thank you. Oh.